Am I ever gonna see your face again? No way, get fucked, fuck off, ratchet. <laughs> you can stay behind that mask for all I care. <laughs> Well, what's going on guys? My name is Matt Omega and welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet & Clank. In the last episode, we finished things off on Batalia for now, again, and came back here to Pokotaru where we knocked out uh, the uh, the battle portion and got ourselves an O2 mask and the awesome thruster pack. I love this thing. It's so much faster. It's great. And in this episode, we're going to be going down the... Uh, the route of the scenic Jawai Resort sewers. <laughs> this is actually a selling point of this resort. Somehow. Which is just another way of saying that, uh, hey, we're going to, uh, we're going to the other part of Pekataru. So now that we have the O2 mask, we can stay underwater indefinitely. Which is definitely going to be very helpful. I'm not sure if there's anywhere here on Pekataru that actually requires... Uh, I still have the O2 mask, but it, it'll at least be helpful for uh, the other skill point and the gold bolts. As for this pathway, I don't know, can't remember. Again, I haven't, I haven't really played this game in a while. <laughs> but, anyway, so we're going to have a bit more fun with the Hydro Displacer here. Hopefully that sound effect wasn't too disgusting. <laughs> Excuse me while I just thrust the pack all over the place. Of course I'm gonna need the trespasser. Why wouldn't I? Uh, what have I not been using? I wanna keep the metal detector there. We're gonna be using... The edges of doom won't get as much use down here, I don't think. So we'll throw the trespasser in where they were. Stand on the... Like, there we go. You know what really would have helped, though? If I had actually... Written down uh, the solutions to all these. That one was easy, but... Uh, some of the later ones get a little bit obnoxious. So, uh, if I'd actually written that down, it would have... Definitely, I need to go back and raise the water back up. Yay, Hydro Displacer! Well, I hope you guys got some spare time and, uh... Basically just treat my videos like podcasts or something and just do something else in the background while you listen to me jabber on about absolutely nothing for half an hour. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, it's essentially what I do. <laughs> Uh, you know it'd be great if we could swim faster. Hmm. As a as that sound game, if we could swim faster. No, not yet. Maybe later. But uh, no promises. Oh, no. Get back. I'm still very low on ammo for this thing. Thinking that uh, stocking up on ammo in between recordings might have been a fantastic idea. But uh, I am, of course, an idiot. Did you? Ah. You got some annoyingly impressive reach. Ah. That was close. Hey. Hey, Matt. Matt. Yes, Matt. Use the suck cannon, you idiot! That's actually a very good idea. <laughs> uh, nothing else around here. There we go. Do those, do those fall or are they just different colors? No, I'm the one that falls. Fantastic. Oh, okay, I see. Always gotta look out for the platforms with the different colors. They uh, they do things. Not always things that you want. Okay. Wow. Once again, getting off to a fantastic start. 
There we go. Ah, yes. More Trespasser. My favorite. Ah, money. My actual favorite. <laughs> I need you. Okay. How's this one going to work? Like... No, that's... Uh... Maybe that. And... There we go. I'm missing one. Ah. There we go. That's the, that's the ticket. Ooh. Undersea treasure. Get away, get away, get away. Get away, get away, get away. Ah uh, yes, more memories of Ratchet and Clank 3 are coming back to me. It's almost like I only want to play that game. <laughs> well, not only. I mean, I also want to play Breath of the Wild, but you know. <laughs> if you go and just buy my favorite games and what I want to play on a daily basis, there would be two of them. shouldn't be as nervous as I am, but I am only on one hit. And thus far, Prokotaru has proven to be very stingy on the whole, uh, on the whole checkpoint situation. It's not pleasant. I mean, I guess I could have left this path until after uh, a thing. That's a lot of big guys. Okay, let's just this way. Haha. Well, good thing uh, these guys can't go up ledges. I say that, and then they'll start just automatically flying up ledges like a Series 1 Dalek. <laughs> now, you might not have come here for random Doctor Who references, but you're gonna get them. Or just use the bomb glove, because uh, the bomb glove is just... It, it's useful. It is a damn useful... Uh, thing. Now, for a starter game weapon, the bomb glove is actually... Impressively uh, useful for a variety of things. I mean, it's explosive damage, so there's that. Okay, just a wrench for the rest, I think. Uh, no, suck cannon for these guys. Aha! See? Learn them a lesson. Kind of. You know, if, uh, if by learning my lesson I mean something that uh, I'll get now because I had to tell myself that five minutes ago, but I'm going to forget later. It's very frustrating being me sometimes. <laughs> hey! It wasn't too bad. Cool. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm searching for a very elusive and secret substance. Raritanium? Um, maybe? The oceans on this planet are said to be an excellent source of that element. Well, not anymore. All that toxic dumping has obscured any trace of it. You will find raritanium for me. No, I will not. Piece of junk. My latest invention, the Persuader. I intended to use it to control mines, but... Well, the only thing it's gotten me so far is a discount from Gadgetron vendors. Hey, I could use that. Well, I'll trade it for some raritanium. I believe planet Hoven is a source of that element. Ah, planet Hoven. A planet that we don't know about yet. Hold on. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Hoven. A planet I'm pretty sure we don't know about yet. Or do we? I don't 
think we know about Hoven yet. No, we haven't even gotten any uh, info bots on this planet yet. All we've gotten so far is the O2 mask. Alright, but anyway, uh, all of that path has done for us is open up this teleporter back down to that guy, who will give us that persuader if we give him some raritanium, which we can find on planet Hoven that we don't know about yet. So, we need to find something else to do. Fortunately though, now that we've got the O2 mask, there are a couple of things that we can do. One of which is going back to Orkson and exploring it properly. Now that we can explore the place as Ratchet. And welcome back to beautiful Planet Orkson! So, now we can actually explore this place properly with Ratchet here. And as we are able to do so, we now have two gold bolts and two skill points that we can go after. And uh, the obvious path forward is the one that the camera quite clearly pointed us to over here. Now, what exactly are our skill points here? Okay, one's very specific, and the other one you can probably do just up ahead. Wee! Oh, jeez. Uh. There we go. There's another one of those crabs over there. I need to know if there's another one of those crabs over there. It's gotta be one of those crabs specifically. Either way. I'm going to switch out the Trespasser for the Taunter. Which is not working on those birds. Great. Birds, but, yep, birds, pterodactyls? What are they? Don't know, I'm not sure I care to know either. Oh, those are definitely sinking. Screw you, screw you, and screw you. You're still alive! Cool. This place is dangerous. <laughs> Alright, how about over here? Any crabs? Nah. Uh, we'll get our chance. Alright, so we've got a bit of a split here. I think that way is the battle course, and this way... Maybe? Not sure. I do want to stock up on ammo, though, because I'm pretty sure I'm still low on a lot of things. Like Pyrocita. Which I'm not really going to use, but, you know, let's refill it anyway. That's a real beauty. Devastator. Oh, that's a nice one. I think that'll do it. I won't buy anything else for now. Oh, well that did it. Oh, what's that glowing in the distance? Infobot! Awesome! You know what? I have just the thing. That's... Uh... Switch out the Hydro Displacer for my boys! Go get them, guys! Wake them up in the rudest way possible. Yeah. Sometimes the best kind of devastation is the kind that you just gotta sit back and watch while it just all unfolds. Ah, so this is somewhere where that mid-air long jump will actually come in very handy. But first... Excuse me. There we go. Alright. Why is... Why won't you die? <laughs> jump. There we go. Now, uh, for the mid-air long jump, it's actually pretty simple. You just jump and input a long jump while you're in mid-air. 
Right. So, R2 Mars plus Magna Boots equals... Sideways Tower Coin. That's always fun. And Pterodactyls. I can't actually bring out a weapon. Okay, that's... Also something I'm not used to. Sweet! Why do these... These little... Lizard... Bug... Bird... Things, they sound like seagulls. I have several questions. Um. <laughs> oh, but there's an answer I definitely want uh, after I, of course, blow these up because I have nothing better to use my rocket launcher on. <laughs> hey there, guys. <laughs> so that's one of our skill points. We just gotta make one of the uh, walking mutant crab thingies run into one of those electric fences with the taunter. The other skill point, we should actually see... Ow. Not too far ahead unless it's on the other path, which it very well could be. But what I really need a refresher on is where those gold bolts are. Which I might actually take a second to just reaffirm. Okay, so both the gold bolts are around where Clank explored in the first place. So we'll get to that when we get to that. And uh, of course the swing shot uh, always stays equipped no matter what. Because one, you never know when we'll use it. Two, it's just fun. Swinging around like a space monkey. Space spider monkey. Space spider-man monkey. Um, so basically, that, so basically Spider Monkey from Ben 10 Alien Force. <laughs> ah, were you expecting Ben 10 references here too? Well, there you go. I'm just full of random references to a lot of things. <laughs> Where'd you... There we go. Wow, I have one left. Awesome. Oh, jeez. Walk onto it, please. Walk onto it, please! Done? Bloody hope so. Get back here, you. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Come back here. Come back. There we go. Alright. So, uh, when I mentioned strafing earlier, I actually forgot something that we can do. Now that we have the thruster pack, if you tap R1 twice, We're actually now in strafing mode, so now we can hold down L2 or R2 and actually strafe around. It's actually a thing we have to activate only after we get the thruster back. Which is dumb, but now we actually have strafing, so my life is going to be so much easier now. My god. I'm still nearly out of health anyway, because these crab things are pain in the nuggets. Get away from me now. Oh, oh. Is this anything or is it just really dark because because the usual? Uh, no, 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 no. How much? Nah, I gotta have to stick with the blaster for this one. 
Agents. <laughs> Agents. <laughs> okay, boys. Make Papa proud. Destroy. <laughs> Or, you know, get most of the job done so I can finish it off. You know, that that's acceptable too. Anything that makes my job just a tad... E Whoa! Where did you come from? I don't appreciate that. I'm... Yeah, I'm not liking this at all. What is wrong with this planet? A lot of things, obviously. I mean, can't even breathe here without something from a freaking resort planet. Hmm. I got an idea. There we go. This looks like a job for the Visibomb. Boom! That can just take care of so many problems. No one else want a piece of me? Because I only got one piece left. If you take it now, I'm done for. So, I'd really rather you... Not... How are they still asleep? That is genuinely terrifying. Uh, no, 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 no. The bo boys just, just, just finished the job. I'm scared. <laughs> I should not be this scared, but I am. <laughs> God damn it! Alright, so this trip was a little bit rough, but now I think we're finally going to be rewarded. Or not! Matt, you really gotta get to grips with this whole speaking too soon thing. It's really messing you up, bud. Now? Hello again, everyone. Supreme Executive Chairman Drek here to fill you in on our progress. We have now found the perfect orbit for our planet. One which will allow for the optimum temperature all year round. However, there is a planet now occupying that orbit, and sadly, for its few insignificant inhabitants, it must be destroyed. That's why we've created this! The Planet Buster Maximus, a device capable of blowing an entire planet into subatomic particles. We're quite proud of it. Here's how it works. We attach the Planet Buster to this ship, fly it into orbit around the planet, and let it go! Kaboom! <laughs> Quite ingenious, really. Once our trained professionals put the finishing touches on our new planet, everything will be complete. Thank you! Goodbye. Now this guy's gonna blow up an entire planet? That's just... me! That's what I've been telling you. Look, I'm still gunning for Quark. If we end up taking out Drek too, hey, fine. What? You do care. Don't push it, pal. Um, so are we just gonna call this meeting halfway? I don't know. I'm not sure how to take this, but with that, we're back down on the path that uh, Clank went through first. Somewhere down that path. Not entirely sure where. Hold on. We're not that far away from the ship. Hmm. Interesting. I, uh, I asked because, uh, I have a thing I'm about to go over the time that I wanted. I need to end the episode somewhere. And back by the ship would be preferable. Suck cannon. Suck cannon. 
use the suck cannon. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, that wasn't far. That just takes us back uh, around about here. And now this lift should be in full operational use for us so we can go up and down whenever we want. Awesome. With that being said, uh, we still got a bit of orcs on left to explore with Ratchet. We got it all the way back over there. I think that's what this lift is for. I hope that's what this lift is for. It better be what this lift is for. <laughs> but we still got a skill point and two gold bolts and all that over there. So this makes orcs on by far the probably the biggest planet we've explored so far. Which is fun. It's fun. It'd be more fun if it weren't so infuriating. <laughs> but in any case, that's what we're going to do next time now that we've suffered through enough of this for one day. <laughs> so... I always throw in that in any case thing a bit too early and I completely fuck up my outro. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, guys, my name is Matt Omega, and I'll see you guys later.